Here's a quick look at Refinery uh, CMS. We'll try the demo. Uh, once we go there, we logged in through a nice login interface. Um, we can easily see our pages, edit our pages, remove them, or add a new one. Notice the search as well. Uh, Drupal doesn't allow you to search all your content. It's amazing uh, to edit it. Uh, test three new oops. New page. Um, we could, you know, add some text. Uh, You could um, insert an image. Uh, we'll, we'll do that in a moment. We'll put the image over here because I want it to float to the side. Uh, but you could also float it to the side in line. Uh, you have some advanced settings to put it under a menu. Uh, and uh, SEO settings. And let's click save. Very basic, but precise WYSIWYG editor um, and then we can switch to the front of the site and we can see um, let's see let's go to the one I just made so they all look alike uh, you know you see the text uh, this is some text this is the title I made uh, for the node um, uh, and and that's it pretty simple uh, stuff um, I don't know if this interface shows uh, yeah, it does. Let's see. So uh, you have some settings. I'm not so worried about that right now. Um, but you have users, so I could manage users. I could edit this user. Now, they may have restricted, um, but you have some permission levels here. Uh, and then another nice feature is um, a way to manage files. So as I upload files, I can easily find them here. Uh, and, you know... There are other things to consider. When you go to their website, you can see that it's modular and extendable, so we can hopefully uh, tweak it as much as we need. And I will verify that and design flexibility, which is key. Uh, and community is key as well. You want to make sure that whatever solution we use uh, has a good community behind it to keep it moving.